Welcome to the Markman M2 video series. I am excited to say the era of the American muscle car is back. Hold on as we go for a ride in the all-new 2025 Chevrolet Chevelle. Historically, the fastest Chevrolet Chevelle was in 1970. The Chevelle SS 454 hardtop coupe, which could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. The average 0 to 60 time for Chevelles from this era was 7.3 seconds. The upcoming 2025 Chevelle is expected to outperform its predecessors significantly. With a modern 6.2 liter, 378 cubic inch V8 engine producing an amazing 650 horsepower. Equipped with the Z51 performance package, the 2025 Chevelle will achieve a highly impressive 0 to 60 time of 2.8 seconds. Allow me to repeat, the fastest Chevelle factory Chevelle had a 0 to 60 time of 5.4 seconds. The new 2025 Chevelle will be almost twice as quick with a 0 to 60 time of just 2.8 seconds. The 2025 Chevrolet Chevelle performance model will easily break a 10-second quarter mile with a top quarter mile speed of about 135 miles per hour. Yes, the American muscle car is back and more muscular than ever. I can't help but feel extremely excited. I am Lewis Joseph Chevrolet, an American racing driver, mechanic, and entrepreneur who co founded the Chevrolet Motor Car Company in 1911. Here in the automotive scrapyard of the afterlife, I see no plans for General Motors to produce a Chevelle in 2025. I am concerned because there are so many claims, especially on YouTube videos, that one exists. One of my favorite retro mod fabricators, Trans AM Worldwide, will produce a fiberglass Chevelle most likely on the Camaro platform which will have a re-emergence in 2025 the cost will be about 150,000 US dollars. I have included the authentic and official clip for the 2025 Camaro which originated from Chevrolet Motor Division of General Motors. I have also included official information from Trans AM Worldwide which will be focusing on the production of the 1970s like Chevelle with all modern equipment. Be sure to watch my abridged life story which I am sure you will find interesting particularly for Chevy fans. Please be well and happy motoring! This piece of history had no right to be discontinued, ever. Thankfully though, just like it happened in the early 2000s, GM realized how wrong they were for discontinuing one of America's dear sweethearts. As a result, we're about to see the Camaro return in 2025 as an all-new model. And don't worry, it won't be a crossover. It'll be a true successor to the now-discontinued Camaro. The Camaro ZL1 will thankfully come with a V8. And what a V8 it'll be. We're talking about the incredible 5.5-liter flat-plane V8 borrowed from the incredible Corvette Z06, meaning that it'll push out over 670 horsepower. The best thing about this is the fact that this engine is naturally aspirated, meaning that you'll get the true muscle car experience 
with it. The company seems to be getting back on track very healthily, and that's what matters, as we couldn't bear to see such a legacy slowly wither away. Correct. And the 70 is the design you do right now, or is it, it is. other design? That's the, it's the only design on the sh on the uh, Chevelle takeoff that we're doing right okay. now. We're, we're offering different options, like you see the old school rally type wheels here, as well as the um, you know the more modern Kregerish type sure. on the green car. And then you have the the other differences would be the uh, powertrain, uh, drivetrain options. Well, I see this one says 454 on the fender. Yes. So is there a, a true 454? It is. is and, and and then we drop down from there to the 396, which is what the green car is. Okay. That one is not limited okay. in, in its production. And then from there, you drop down to a base model. So what's the power difference between a base model and a 454? Uh, well, the base model is starting out with a uh, standard GM LT1, which is 450 horsepower. And the uh, 454, the top of the food chain, is about 1,500 rear wheel. That's an impressive number. Yeah. Not that 400 and something is anything to laugh at. Like, these are, right. they're all, yeah, they're all quick cars. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they all get you in trouble. They're all faster than your actual 1970 Chanel's were. Right, so yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent. So no limit on production on any on the other cars? No. Only the, only the 454 has limit limited production. Okay, very cool. And what is the site where they can go find the information on these? So, uh, best place to go is transamworldwide.com. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, is the